Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again, and in this video we're going to show you how to uh, set your car picture to the certain picture you want. Right now we don't have a picture here, but some of you guys will have a car that possibly you don't want. It's a white Dodge Ram, um, and you want it to a different color. So you're going to go find the picture of the vehicle you want. In this USB thumb drive, it's a formatted USB FAT32, and inside I have my image. Um, this is for the PX3 unit. And for a majority of other units, if we sent you this video link, this is probably the solution for the uh, changing the vehicle picture. So let me just get the USB in here. After you plug in the USB, it should light up. If it doesn't light up, uh, a USB icon should show up at the top. So let's wait for that. There's my USB icon. Some of you guys might have it here. but. What I've done before this, prior to shooting this video, is I've gone on my computer, found an image. Um, the image size will be 1366 by, I believe, 720. But we'll also send you a link on a written article on how to do this. You're going to find the picture you want. In this case, if I go to, I went to File Manager, then there's like three lines on the top left. And I go to USB Storage. This is what's inside my USB. You can see I have a picture of a hot dog. But I downloaded from the internet a PNG file. This was the file. Then I copied the file and I put it to the certain dimensions, uh, 1366 by 768. And then I saved it again. So there is my file right there. So I'm going to be using this picture right here. And what I need to do is rename this file to ZXW logo. Um, if it has a one or a parentheses one, you're not going to use this. This is wrong writing and you got to change it to this one right here. So once I have my USB open here, what we need to do is we need to copy our picture. So I press and hold. Then there is a copy button right there. Uh, let me show you the properties of the pictures just to show that it is uh, properties. So you can see it is a PNG file and uh, the resolution is 1364 by 819. So this is a uh, it's probably going to cut off a little, but the resolution would be in the, um, the dimensions will be in the article, but I press copy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the three lines on the top left, and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to slash device. Go to slash device, and you're going to look for the folder called SD card. So I press SD card, which is right there. This is the folder I'm going to be in, and I'm going to paste it into this folder. So there it is. Now that it's in the correct folder, what I can do is I can unplug the USB. So let's unplug the USB. And we're going to do a reset on this unit to show you that it will boot up with that hot dog picture right here. So let me find a pin I can press it with. found a pin right here and let's press the RST button. You can also change the picture right here and I'll show you that really quick when it boots up. But this is the boot up screen picture and again you can choose any picture you want. You just got to find the picture you want. When it boots up it should have the hot dog logo. Hopefully it does. And there is the picture of the hot dog. It's a little bit big, but let's press home. It's a uh, clear off. So I guess the dimensions was not correct. And that is the reason why it's super big right there. But that's just a really quick video on how to put the image on your unit. So what you need to do is, uh, it's a trial test run for a lot of units. You have to crop this correctly to get it onto here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below or send us an email at contactus at phoenixandroidradios.com. Thank you. Bye.